Home tensions are rising. There have been several rallies since the war started. And today in New Haven, a group of protesters spoke out against Israel. Chief political reporter Susan Rapp is live outside New Haven City Hall, where today's rally was held. Susan. Kara, there have been so many rallies in our state since this war started. Just last week, there was a rally here on the very steps of New Haven City Hall. Those protesters or people rallying were in support of Israel. Today's rally was the opposite. When they started their rally here today, those who were chanting and calling, they wanted an immediate end to the war. They also want the United States out of Israel and a free Palestine. Today we're hoping to get a letter to Rosa Delora and we demand our Congress uh, ask for a ceasefire because without a ceasefire there's going to be ongoing deaths of civilians and innocents in Gaza. After leaving the steps of City Hall here in New Haven, they walked to Congresswoman Rosa Delora's office, which is down the street. There, they demanded to see her. They also, we are told, delivered a letter asking her or urging her to have the United States stop supporting Israel. And as you know, President Biden is in Israel. He gave a speech today pledging continued support for Israel. He also said that the United States would give $100 million in humanitarian aid to the Palestinians. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, you'll hear more from the protesters here today, plus why those on the other side feel that with Hamas and terrorism, that Israel has a right to defend itself. We are live in New Haven, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.